Hey everyone, Adam here with AJT Design. This is an instruction video for our oversized cup holder for the 2022 and newer Tundra, which fits uh, the SR, SR5, the Limited, and the TRD Pro packages. If you have a uh, like a Platinum or a 1794 or a Capstone, the cup holder is different and the product doesn't work. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this piece here, this factory piece, with our piece here that is uh, larger and also deeper. We have a separate video that shows how to remove this piece from the truck, which is quite easy, and we will have a link to that video in the description below. So just a little, little uh, few things about this product. Um, like the factory piece, ours, ours, ours also has a removable mat. It's a rubber piece that will help uh, dampen any vibrations, and it's removable for cleaning. It just sits down in there. Very similar concept to the factory part. We also have provisions to reuse these stabilizer pieces that will also fit into our cup holder to help uh, retain smaller vessels. All right, so what do we do? Take this thing, flip it over, and this piece is essentially held on with four Phillips head screws. So you take a screwdriver and you pull the screws out. Careful not to lose the screws, of course. And this piece can be removed. With this piece removed, what we're gonna to wanna to do next is remove these um, if you wanna transfer them over into the new cup holder. So these are held on underneath here. What you're gonna to wanna to do, get a small screwdriver. I'm gonna pl place this down here, see if I can zoom in, there we go. And just wanna get on the side, kinda of pry it like that, get from the other, get in there from the other side. And this plastic's pretty flexible, they come out pretty easy. So you just wanna go around and do that with all four of these. And just take your time and be careful, but these uh, these usually won't give you any trouble. There's a little little post on either side, so you want to work one side free and then go to the other. Oops, not the one. stubborn but we'll get it there it goes okay so now we're done we're done with this just like a just a little comparison if you look at the two parts you can see what we did with our parts we just utilized all the space by eliminating that silver ring and also ours is much deeper our depth is um it's maybe roughly the same as it is on this deeper side without having the i don't know why toyota made this side shallower Maybe it's easier we have really small things in there, but most most people like to put like big Nalgene's and Yetis and whatnot in these things. So we just used, utilized all the space that we could. So it's just kind of a, a little comparison there. So the next step is if you want um, to place these back in, I'm just trying to get this camera angle so it's good. So what you wanna do is make sure, there we go, zoom back out. Get the spring here. You want that. You want that so it's underneath like that. And then you want to make sure this piece isn't trapped inside there. And then you simply so it should be like that. Line up those tabs. And press down. Let's see. I missed it. I'm trying to watch trying to watch through the camera. <laughs> All right. So you wanna there's the second set of tabs. 
that you want, that's what you want to line up in these grooves here. I apologize for how shaky this is. This is, this is not difficult, but there we go. Okay. So now we have it and then it'll just snap right in and that's how you know you've got it done right. I promise that's not as hard as I just made it look. Um, so again, you just do this with all four of them. Maybe you want to do two. I was experimenting with having like three of these for a while. Certain things like coffee mugs, it's sometimes easier with these not in place. I'm just going to snap off four of them in for now. But it's uh, it's easy enough to play around with. Again, lined up. There it goes. Yeah. yeah, with our design, they snap in a little differently than the factory parts, but they function exactly the same. Oops. And that's what happens if you don't get the spring on the correct side. So I will take this apart. And there we go. So these are all in place, all functioning. Then what we do is screw it back in here. And just put this together. Make sure to align. There's the lighting. There's two little posts right there that'll align everything. And you use the same screws and you just screw it back together. All right, and there you have it, it's all done. So from here, you can go and just put this right back in your truck. And again, just to demonstrate how nice this is with analogy and how deep, how secure that fits, uh, you can, this will not work with the factory piece. So if you like these or uh, the Yetis or Arctic, whatever you got, um, up to 3.75 inches, works out really, really nice. As always, I will have a link to purchase these in the description as well as my email if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.